Hey everybody, happy Monday. And as you can hear, I am canning this morning. Um, what else is new, right? <laughs> so, I just wanted to jump on here and say thank you. Over the weekend, actually yesterday, when I logged in um, to my YouTube channel, I saw that I hit 60,000 subscribers and I couldn't believe it. Um, it is extremely humbling. It was extremely emotional. I could not let the day go by without popping on here and just thanking each and every one of you. To all of my old subscribers who have been with me through quite a journey. Um, to my, you know, newer subscribers. To my brand new subscribers. Thank you all. It means so much to me to have you here. It, it's extremely humbling to know that YouTube's a big place. It's a, it's a big place and you guys could have picked you guys can pick anyone to watch and the fact that you hit that subscribe button and you have me in your feed and you stop what you're doing to watch me or you spend your free time, your 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 download time watching me, I'm extremely blessed and I'm thankful to each and every one of you. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me and I just want you to know that it doesn't go unappreciated. Um, I also wanted to pop on here because I know a lot of you are new canners or you're thinking about learning how to can. Um, so I wanted to encourage you, if you are a newbie canner, uh, to hop on board <laughs> to learn this amazing art of, pres of preserving food. And um, whether you dehydrate or, um, you know, freeze, can, whatever it is, Putting food by is so important, especially in today's, you know, um, society, day and age. Um, having well-stocked pantry is so important. It's like an insurance policy. But, you know, I, I, I'm just a mom. You're not ever going to get anything really special here. I, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I homeschool two little kiddos. Uh, between me and my husband, we have eight kids total. Uh, three of our older boys um, are all adults. We've got two littles who live with their mom, and then we've got three kiddos that, that are still home with us. But one soon will be leaving the nest in the next few years. So, um, just a mom who turns on her camera and talks to you guys. And I appreciate that you listen to me. Um, if I can help you at all in any way that I can, uh, whether it be with canning, preserving food, um, homeschooling, uh, my weight loss journey, whatever it is, comment down below, ask your questions. And I'm thinking I'm gonna sit, do a sit down video with you guys and do like a talkie vlog where I try to answer uh, some of your questions. Uh, if you are considering canning and you just haven't jumped in yet or you want to know more about it, I strongly encourage you to visit your local library. That's what I did. Go to your library, pull every book you can on canning, take it home, read it, read it. And then decide from there if it's something that you think that you'll enjoy doing. I tell you, this, this is therapy for me. <laughs> it uh, calms my nerves. It's very empowering. It's very rewarding putting food up on my pantry shelf for my family to enjoy. Um, and it's, uh, it's a beautiful art, if you will. Um, so I hope you give it a try. And uh, yeah, I'll be back. If you guys have any questions for me, I'll answer them in a talkie video and um, we'll have some fun. So thank you again for subscribing to me, you guys. I'm so happy and honored that you're here with me and that you just like to hang out with Heather. <laughs> I should change my YouTube name to just hang in with Heather. I've been thinking about it. Cause I'm not, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you're not really a homesteader. And maybe I'm not because I don't do animals. I don't know if I can. I can't commit to another living life um, when I deal with a chronic pain condition. It, it's fine in the, in the warmer months. But in the winter months, it's extremely painful for me. I'm going to see how I feel this winter. You know, I've wanted chickens for a long time. I'm going to see how I do this winter with my fibromyalgia and my, and my arthritis. Um, I can't commit to a 
another living being if I can't properly take care of it. And even though I want them so badly, um, I don't know if I'm physically able to go out and take care of them uh, like I want to. And yeah, I could leave it to my husband and to my son, and but I don't want to. The whole point of having chickens is my dream, not, not necessarily theirs. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what the winter brings, and we'll see uh, how I feel come spring. Um, but am I a homesteader? Am I not? Am I a, definitely a homemaker? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what label I fit into. Uh, maybe I'm the odd duck in YouTube land. Um, but I'm just happy to have you here. So with that, okay, I'm gonna let you go. And um, thanks for watching me. Bye guys.